All right, you guys, this is it, the part that I have been so excited for, months in the making, but we are about to refill. Hey, wait, what are you doing here? You can't see the end until you understand the beginning. This is going to be fun. What's going on, you guys? Hey, Jared Beckstrand here, Doctor of Physical Therapy, TonaTight.com. Now, you guys, whenever I film these videos, you guys are used to seeing me here in front of just a plain white wall. Now, what not a lot of people realize is that we are actually down here in my unfinished basement. And this is where I have filmed YouTube videos, and uh, I mean, just like a lot of other videos as well, for the last couple of years, I was looking on YouTube, we filmed a couple of hundred videos in front of this wall, um, dating back a couple of years now. And so um, the reason why I'm filming this is because we are actually finishing our basement. Um, it's not going to be this whole unfinished thing anymore. And so I wanted to bring you guys along for the remodel. Now the part that I'm really excited about, we're gonna leave this kind of the studio slash gym, but over here, we're gonna be putting in some more um, strength training equipment. The goal being to be able to help you guys out with your fitness and health journeys even better. And so I wanted to bring you along on this journey and keep you updated on the progress, and we'll see you again soon. Two years and a couple hundred YouTube videos later, it was time to say goodbye to the wall I built in my basement. Time to make some space for bigger and better things. Check it out, you guys. My wall is gone. We got that all ripped down, but then we also ripped off all the pink insulation. That's what I had to try so hard to hide from you guys. Um, we'll be creative with my camera angles just so you never saw the pink insulation that was covering my walls. Next step, we just got to finish the framing and then we're going to bring in the HVAC guys. We're going to wire it up. We're going to get some, some uh, different lighting, some different sound options down here that are hopefully just going to make for better videos. And so that's the update and I'll keep you posted again. We've been working hard. We've been doing some really cool things down here. And so wanted to update you on the progress. All right, so first of all, lighting. I am super stoked about this. We're dropping can lights like crazy down here. We ripped all the pink insulation off of the wall and I'm just stuffing that stuff up in the ceiling. So hopefully that is going to soundproof that kitchen, at least muffle it a little bit. So it's looking amazing. Things are coming right along and I couldn't be happier with it. Drywall is gonna be going up. We'll keep you guys updated. After a couple of dozen rolls of insulation, it was time to start hanging drywall. This is always my favorite part because the space really starts to take shape. All right, check it out. Things are coming along great down here in the home gym. We are one coat of mud away from completing our walls. Things are looking great and I can't wait until paint starts to fly in here. Now, we recently ran into somewhat of a minor snag. The original plan was for me to fit that barbell and the rack into that space, this space, right here. However, upon seeing what this space looks like and getting those dimensions for that equipment, I don't know if I'm gonna have quite enough room for it over there. The other snag that I ran into, the, uh, the dual cable machine that I wanted, was gonna go on that wall, right here, this space. However, that thing sticks out quite a way, and uh, in order for me to preserve this camera angle right here for YouTube videos and for things, that dual cable machine was not going to work in that space. So what if we were to just switch them? What if we put the cable in here, right here, and we put the squat rack right over here? Right here. Come to find out each of those machines is going to fit perfectly in those spaces. There's a lot more room for that squat rack right here, especially for pull-ups. I was a little bit worried about hitting my head on the recessed ceiling over here. Squat rack is gonna go in right there. I even found a folding model that folds flush to the wall, so it's not gonna be in the shot for any future YouTube videos over on that side. And then with that dual cable machine, the particular model that I am looking into actually makes what they call a light version, and it's gonna fit just right in that spot over there. It's gonna be just perfect for that space. So I've got those all ordered up. 
Let's throw some paint. The color I decided to go with is a simple, ultra pure white. I figured that would be the best to film in front of, take pictures in front of, and give a really clean look and feel to the content I produce. Well that, and I love how bright it makes this space in my basement. That's it for the paint and all the paint touch-ups. You'll see that we also dropped in the can lights, switches, outlets, and vents. Let's get some floor in here. For my gym space, I put down black rolled rubber flooring. Now, if you've never worked with rubber flooring before, it's heavy, awkward, difficult to maneuver, and that glue gets on everything. You know, you can say what you want about the jorts, but until you can find a better way of keeping all your tools with you, I'm gonna keep wearing them. I certainly learned a lot putting this floor down. The biggest tip I can pass on to you. If you ever get the chance to lay rubber flooring, don't. While laying the floor wasn't necessarily my favorite part of this whole experience, I do have to say it looks incredible in there now. It was time to get some weights in there. There are two pieces of equipment that I have always wanted. I've always wanted a squat rack with barbell and plate weights and a dual adjustable cable machine. Now, I got the squat rack and barbell equipment all ordered, and fortunately, the company that sells the dual cable machine has a warehouse about an hour away from my house. To save a couple hundred dollars on shipping, I jumped in my truck and headed out. Luckily, the drive is one of the most scenic that you'll ever take. After getting it all loaded into my truck, you guys watch this, watch how much my truck drops when he drops this thing in there. It's enormous. It was time for me to head home again. I was actually driving home when I got a call from my wife. All my other equipment had just been dropped off and was waiting for me in my garage. All right, so here we have it. The delivery did in fact show up. That is all of the free weight equipment. We've got the barbell in there. We've got the other plates, the other weights. Everything's here, you guys. There's one problem that I'm gonna run into. This is 782 pounds of free weights. That machine is about 900 plus pounds total weight. And I've got to figure out some way to get them all down into my basement. It might have to be piece by piece. And that's exactly what I did. One piece at a time. Now, the first step in installing the squat rack is to mount these stringers to the wall. This gives you an anchor point for the horizontal arms of the rack to come out and support the uprights. After the horizontal arms are in place, you simply mount the vertical uprights, install this sweet pull-up bar, make sure that all of your hinges are locked in, and then all you need is your barbell. Just like that, squat rack's all done. Looks amazing, you guys. I love the way that it turned out. Just one more left to build. It was at this point that I decided I needed a wall of mirrors. You know, so I could check my form while performing exercises. All right, who am I kidding? They're for flexing and posing and watching them gains grow. Don't act like you don't do it too. Now the cable machine had a few more instructions and a few more moving parts. It might have taken me a little bit longer to put together, but honestly, this is one of my all-time favorite pieces of equipment. There are actually 20 plates on each side, up to about 70 pounds total per arm. Now this was a lot of negatives to slowly lower each weight down to the top of the stack. It was now time to wire the pulleys through the arms and back to the weight stack. Then all I had left to do was hook up the handles, make sure that all of the hinges moved smoothly, and it was good to go. All I had left was to install my ceiling fan, clean and mop and make things pretty in there, hook up a few doorknobs, and I was ready to reveal it to the world. All right, you guys, it's been months in the making, but I am so excited to show you the reveal. Let me introduce you to my new home gym and YouTube studio.
amazing space, am I right? I wanted to take you guys through some of the stuff that I've got in here real quick and introduce you to it. Um, first of all, dumbbell rack, it's empty right now. My dumbbells are on back order. Unfortunately, I couldn't wait to shoot this video. I've got a set of five and fifties coming over here. I can't wait. Um, this bench, this is a commercial quality bench. It inclines and declines. It's something that I've had for actually quite a while. I love it, can't say enough good about it. Um, the, uh, the, the plate weights, the barbell weights that we have in here are from Rogue. The storage system that I went with is vertical and it's on wheels so that I can move it to different places in the gym and still preserve kind of the viewing angle and the filming angle if I need to. Um, the, the barbell, the squat rack that we've been with, it's the Rogue RML 3W squat rack. The thing that I love about this is that I can actually fold this into the wall so that I can still preserve this viewing angle right here. This is where I usually have the treatment table set up. This is where I'm filming the physical therapy and rehab related videos. Hopefully this folds flat to the wall, folds enough out of the way that you guys aren't going to notice that in those videos. Um, I actually have storage, you guys. I'm pretty excited about this. This is a storage closet where I've just got all my lighting, my microphones, my anatomical models. Um, I literally have skeletons in my closet. And then finally, the last thing, um, this is the uh, free motion dual cable cross light version. This is kind of the home version of the bigger machine. One of my favorites, this is one that we've had in all of the physical therapy clinics that I've worked in. And literally with these arms, they move all the way up, all the way down, all the way in and all the way out. You can create any line of pull with those cables, still to be able to show you guys some more exercises and some more workouts on them. So my goal in doing all of this is simply to produce better content, better home workouts, better PT and rehab advice, better programs, better even gym workouts with some of the stuff in here. My goal is to help you become the fittest, strongest, and healthiest versions of yourselves, and I hope that you join me on that journey. Hey, if you haven't done so already, hit this button right here to subscribe to Tone Titan here on YouTube. If you're looking for more home workouts, you can find those right here. If you're looking for more PT and rehab advice, you can get that right here. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.